Hey everybody, it's Lawrence, lawrencelanoff.com, here today to talk to you about what exactly is an open relationship. So many people come to me and they say, oh, I've tried open relationships, or oh, I've looked into open relationships, but that's not actually what they've done. What they have done is they have experienced a version of one partner doing something, whatever that partner wants, and then they get stuck being enchained with uh, constraints and rules and laws and chastity while the other partner is free to do whatever they want. That is not an open relationship. Well, last time I told this joke, I had a lot of upset people, so I won't say it what it is, but what it is is not open relationship. So let's talk about what an open relationship is and why it's so important to you. An open relationship acknowledges that the concept or the mythology that till death do us part is not a real thing. It acknowledges it as a mythology, a story, a sweet story, I like all stories, um, but it's still a story, it's an idea, a theory about how the world should work, but in practice it's not the way it is, right? There's plenty of evidence to disprove that monogamy is the only way to be. And uh, when I say plenty of evidence, what I mean is you know, with scientific method, one seeks to disprove, not to prove. So you can run around and say, well, see, this proves monogamy, but really the power, if monogamy was in fact the only way, um, there would be tons of evidence to support that, but in fact there's not. You know, people get divorced, there's serial monogamy, there's uh, polygamy, polygyny, there's all kinds of ways of relating, there are people in different lifestyles and sets. And so the point is there is really no one way. So to me, an open relationship just really represents a way of looking at communication, relationship, and sexuality in such a way that you and your partner are having adult conversations about what it is that each of you want. So it's more understanding and recognizing that there are all kinds of ways to relate and that you, yes you, can create the life that you want to with consenting adults in your world and that's really the key. So an open relationship basically says, hey, we are open to various energies, flavors, uh, decisions, ideas, kinks, explorations, and therefore in the openness of that, we are having adult conversations about what our needs are in the relationship. And that really, to me, is what an open relationship is. It is a willingness to discuss things that most people find difficult to discuss. So if you're attracted to other people, if you have desires, if you have things you want to explore, that you are open to discuss those things and to negotiate them out, to find things that work for all the consenting adults involved. That is the essence of an open relationship. The opposite of that is a closed relationship that says, you know, uh, you are the only person for me, you are my soulmate, together we will live till death do us part, I will see you in heaven or eternity, so let's just stick it out. And that's kind of the, the general concept of the closed system, that one person gives you everything that you need for the rest of your life. There's so much evidence to disprove that there is, I would say, almost zero evidence that speaks of this, uh, which is why divorce rates are so high, people get cheated on, blah, blah, blah. So again, just to summarize, um, when you think about open relationship and what you're thinking about, what you're really thinking about is how can we openly discuss and be open to the various energies of life that bring us uh, juice and enjoyment and pleasure, and how can we have adult uh, discussions and conversations about those things. So until the next time, it's Lawrence. This is really important just so you know because uh, we are in a change in the world and um, the world is changing. It's changing right before our eyes and we are going to have to come to terms with this and open relationship will be a thing. Uh, just in the way same-sex marriages or anything else, you know, alternative ways of relating and having relationships will become a thing in our future. And that's just the way it is. So I will see you in the next video. Thanks for listening. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Talk to you soon. LawrenceLanoff.com. See ya.